Hi guys, have another Dollar Tree haul to share with you today. I found some really exciting new things that I didn't think that I would honestly see at Dollar Tree and I'll explain in a minute. Um, plus, I also have a little gift idea that's gonna be at the end of this video which kinda inspired the this candy item that I found at Dollar Tree from the last video. I'm trying to implement more gift basket and gift ideas into my videos since I do tend to mention that I think a lot of these things would be really great for gift giving um, the Dollar Tree, you know, items. So that's just something that I want to improve upon in my channel. I'm hoping to kind of have several like gift basket, gift ideas, care packages, ideas a month. So I'm going to be working up to that. I just did one, I think in the last video, I'll link it down below. You can go check out that uh, gift idea. It was actually like an ice cream sundae gift and it was really really cute um so linked below but let's go ahead and dive into the haul and then we'll talk about the gift idea at the end so the item that i mentioned that i just didn't think that we would see an update to are these spray bottles these are definitely brand new and i don't think that they're actually from dollar tree which means that you know once they're gone they could just be gone and there may not be a restock it's kind of hard to really tell with Dollar Tree um, but these were the two I found I didn't find any other colors but I really love that the trigger and the spray nozzle matches the bottle pretty decent sized spray bottles and these would be great for a cleaning gift basket so maybe I'll do one of those um, in an upcoming video and then you'll see like these items in there cannot wait to use those and then I found these I thought that like that would be it but no they also did this and i think it's the same exact brand as those you can see that this is more translucent not more translucent it is translucent this is solid <laughs> uh these colors are fantastic i love like the primary here and the secondary colors and they did again the trigger the nozzle matches the bottle i just really like that i think it makes them extra chic and really nice this yellow one you know the yellow one's my favorite. Um, we have the red and green again. You know, wishing we could see more colors, that would be really fun. And then you could definitely color code like your cleaning solution so that you know what's in what. Uh, but this would be great to pick up to start doing some like under your sink or under a cabinet organization. Don't know what my deal is with solo cups lately, but I found blue ones at Dollar Tree. I don't think this is necessarily new. I think they've done colored solo cups. Uh, but maybe blue has been the only other color they've done. Comment down below and let me know if you've seen any others, like green or yellow. Uh, definitely, They definitely carry red, which is like the original Solo Cup color. But I just decided to pick up this blue. I thought it would be fun, you know, while we have like little barbecues or whatever in the backyard, we can just use these for our drinks. I also have these cups, which I had not seen before. I really honestly didn't expect to find anything new with Patriotic because I don't think they're doing much of a restock anymore. I think what's out is out. And then I think that now they're focusing on school supplies because I've already seen it like on their website. But you never know. Some Dollar Trees may still continue to restock and that's the thing about the store is that you have to just check and see what they're doing because you just never know. This says Home of the Brave. I really like these little cups, super, super cute. And then this one says red, white, and blue. This one says made in the USA. That one's really cute. I love the white stars on this. And I love how they kind of made them look a little bit weathered. Really just kind of gives it a slight farmhouse look. This is my favorite hack of all time. I love hats, clearly I wear them in the majority of my videos. And yeah, I'm just a baseball cap kind of girl. And these are a lifesaver for me. They're the Jot brand, but they're book rings. I've actually also used these as a hack for like Christmas cards. Um, and then you can just like punch a hole at the you know edge of a Christmas card and then you feed it through these rings. And then you kind of create like a booklet of all the Christmas cards that you get from like family and friends. It's a really great way, you know, put them back out during the holidays, you can flip back through them. So I've used it for that as well, but I do pick these up for my hats. I just kind of feed the, the back here 
through these and then um, I put these like on the clothing bar. If you've watched my videos, you know what I'm talking about. I'll just insert a clip just so you can see what I'm talking about. But oh my gosh, I love this hack and these are just a dollar. So you know me, I had to pick up some more rings for some more hacks. I'm honest, I'm running out of room, so I gotta stop. Um, the next thing that I bought is this bunting. I just recently decorated the entryway, so I'll link that video down below. And I showed you guys how gorgeous Dollar Tree decor and products can look as decor placement. And this bunting honestly blew my mind even more when I was decorating with it. I knew it was gorgeous when I showed it for the first time in a haul not too long ago. But once I hung it up, I was just like, you seriously cannot tell that this is a dollar. I just, I couldn't tell. It looked very comparable to um, Hobby Lobby, to be honest. And this is what it looks like. Very, just extremely well done for a dollar. Honest to God, I don't have any idea why I got this next item. <laughs> but it's, it ended up my cart and here we are, okay? Like, like what am I supposed to tell you? The little eyes are even wiggly. Um, so there's that. Then taking a hard left, I found some really cute paper clips. They've done this before, but I just, I couldn't tell if they updated like the colors or something. So I thought I'd pick them up anyway and share them with you guys. I love these two colors. So pretty, but yeah, look how fun these little paper clips are. These have little tassels. Is that orange? Yeah, orange and yellow. See, I would throw these into a care package for my daughter. I've been talking about how I'm gonna do the next one as an orange theme. And so I'll pull these little ones and just like put them in that little orange magnetic container I shared in the last video. So that would be really cute. I will share that care package with you guys. I shared the last one and it was like a yellow theme with butterflies on it, Dollar Tree. It was really, really pretty. So those are really fun, especially, you know, for my gals that love crafting, planning. It's always great to find gems like these from Dollar Tree, honestly, because it can get pricey to do all that crafting. So I love Dollar Tree for this. Okay, next up, I've got this splash toy. I really haven't been looking too much at their summer stuff, but I'm starting to look now, and this is just a cute little splash toy. Just to show you the photo, I'm not gonna open this up on camera. I got this for my niece. I'm gonna buy her like one of those backyard pools for kids. And I just thought that this little toy would be fun in there for her to play with. I mean, that's pretty huge. Like this kid looks like he's four or five years old. So anyways, yeah, super cute little, and he, he looks like Dory, right? Is it Dory or is it Nemo? I don't, I don't know, it's one of them. So there's that. And then I actually had it on my list to pick up the glow in the dark toys. Uh, and I think these are also great for summertime, but this is brand new. Dollar Tree has never done these before, not from like my memory. So we've got the glow in the dark horseshoe game and then ring toss. What? Great for gift giving, care package, especially maybe if someone you know just, you know, bought a new home this summer. This would be maybe something fun to do like in a gift basket. I don't know if you're a realtor, but I started seeing some videos where uh, realtors were like putting together like a little gift basket for their clients. I don't know, if you're a realtor, this could be cute for that. So there's that. And this was actually the one that was on my list for sure. It was the flying disc. So all of these are glow in the dark. So they're gonna be great for that. And then I think it says it lasts for hours and includes one flying disc and eight glow sticks. So I'm guessing you have to like maybe put the glow sticks. Yeah, cause you have to snap the sticks so that it will actually glow. And then um, it says it's reusable. So I'm guessing you can just continue to buy like the packet of glow sticks from Dollar Tree cause they sell those individually. And then you can just, as they, you know, die out, you can insert new ones. So there's that. And then this is a glow in the dark ball. And they do show you the colors. So they have a ton of colors. I wish I would have gotten pictures for you guys, but I got orange. And then here's a football. 
which is green. Really cute. And then I got another football, which is blue. I mean, this packaging, packaging is top notch. And it is Dollar Tree, by the way. So, yeah. Love it. I don't know what other colors they had. I don't know if they had, like, I know they had yellow. I don't know if they had pink or red. I need to pay attention next time I go and I'll let you guys know. All right, so that's basically it for like the main haul. Now I'm gonna show you guys some things that I picked up for this idea and I will do like the stuffing of this at the end of the video and you'll also see how I made these bags. So I've actually seen this on Pinterest and thought it was super cute. So I recreated the same look and they are just like Legos bags and these are Dollar Tree bags. So I did use, and you, again, you'll see it in the DIY. Um, these bags come two to a pack. And so I used the second one to do the little circles to make it look like Legos. Probably not the best use. The reason why I did this was because you're gonna get the same exact color match. Um, so if you're having to make party favor bags, uh, for a ton of kids uh, may not be the best use of the second bag because you could use it as a second party favor bag. Maybe try construction paper. Um, but again, I did this so that you guys could see the, the flushed look of, you know, that part of the Legos and how it matches perfectly. So then I decided what can I put in these bags because this was the item that kind of sparked this idea because I mentioned it actually in my haul video. I don't know which one it was, irrelevant, okay? But in that video, I found these new 4D gummies. And actually, I think one of you commented and said that they work. Like you can actually stack the gummies and build, which is so cool. But in that video, when I hauled these, I was like, these would be great for like a Legos party or even putting them in a party favor bag. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. So we're going to add these, but I thought, what else can we put in these bags from Dollar Tree? So let me share with you. And let me tell you, I didn't even get all the Lego stuff that Dollar Tree sells. All right, so we've got the base plates, and these come in a variety of colors, okay? Just a ton. These were the two I picked up. And then I picked up the building blocks. So you can just kind of see, this is what I was trying to emulate with the bags. Where, yeah, like this, right? So that's what I was trying to do. So I've got a blue pack. I got a green pack, a brown pack, and a white pack. But they have more. They have red, I think they have yellow, they have black as well. So we've got those. And then I found these. These are in the party aisle. Again, just another tip with Dollar Tree. You really gotta look through the whole store because they put things um, in terms of labels. So these are toys. They're gonna be in the toy aisle. This is party. It's gonna be in a party aisle. So we've got those. I don't know why I just got one package, but I think I'm just gonna open it up and dump them into the bags. But you can open these up. I don't know if you can tell, but they're little like storage boxes. How cute is that? And the kids can put like their little pieces in there. Love it. I've hauled these before, but I thought they've gotta be in this video today. And it is the cups. These would be great for a party favor. Um, and also just like for the party in itself. You can see that I've got yellow and blue because originally for this video, I wanted to do a yellow and blue bag. However, I couldn't find a blue bag, so we went with pink today. But this was like the original idea for the video. Um, but these are super cute. Oh my gosh, cannot believe it. I also picked up these block tapes in yellow and blue. What? How cool are these little things? I don't know what block tapes means, but it just looks like you can really kind of customize it. Um, stick and build anywhere is what it says. Super awesome. Honestly, I've waited for this moment. I've waited for a reason or an excuse to get all of these Legos things. I don't think my niece is too into it right now. Um, 
but I did get a ton of these for her but I just wanted to pick up some extra ones for the purpose of this video since the last time she came over we did open up all of the little Legos people but how fabulous are these for a party favor I'm telling you the store has my heart and then these which are my favorite if you don't know I'm gonna tell you I love the blind bags at Dollar Tree they are so fun and these are the Legos ones and I can tell you from experience from opening this up putting them together for my niece these are fabulous I have no idea why they're a dollar um, but they're absolutely fabulous you do have to follow the instructions though on how to put the people together because there's like a finesse to like adding the top to the main body to the feet so definitely keep your instructions for that I learned I made a mistake and learned the hard way but these are fantastic and just to show you like the details on these people because they really truly look like this when you take them out and you don't know who you get so that's why I love a good blind bag and these I think are just gonna be a must in a Legos party favor bag okay so that's it I definitely could have uh, gone to town a little bit harder but let's go ahead and I'm gonna roll the clip on how I put these together and then we're gonna stuff these and that's gonna be my idea for you guys today hope that you enjoyed this please give this video a thumbs up let me know if you definitely need to see more gift baskets and ideas I just feel like I talk about it all the time so why not why not start showing that to you and giving you guys like that visual so anyways that's it for today don't forget there's another dollar tree haul tomorrow so hopefully i'll see you guys there bye so first up let me show you guys um, the materials that i used here so we've got the two bags the tissue paper i grabbed a washi and you'll see why some scissors and then some like puffy tape and a pen i would do a pencil um, that way you really won't see the pen coming through the back because you could kind of see it a little bit um, so it's pretty self-explanatory i used one bag that i cut up to get these circles out of um, i explained this in the beginning part of the video but in case you missed it the reason why i used the second bag was because the colors are obviously identical and with legos the colors are identical in the box the box part and then the circle part um, you can obviously opt to do construction paper instead if you feel like they're you know the the colors match exactly or obviously do it however you want so anyways once i got all the circles cut out i'm just placing them on the bag first to kind of see what it looks like the bigger the bag the more circles that you want uh, to make it look like a true legos block um, and i do have two different bags so the yellow is bigger than the pink and also i want to say that i had to cut out all of these circles but if you go to like a craft store and you feel like you're going to do a bunch of these bags definitely go to a craft store and get like a punch out and that will just save you a heap of time um, and then what you want to do is you want to use some type of puffy tape to adhere the dots to the back and this is going to give it that two-dimensional quality um, instead of like just using some type of tape and putting it down it kind of makes the little circles pop out a little bit more and again makes it look more like an authentic legos block so anyways now i'm basically filling up the bags with the items that i shared in the haul and all of the items actually fit in the bigger bag but with the pink bag which was smaller i actually had to um, hold back a bag of legos so other than that everything was able to fit in both of the bags i would honestly go with the smaller bags for party favors i think the pink size bag is the perfect size but i didn't have a smaller yellow bag or you guys would have actually have seen the same size bag in this video um, so here's me doing the pink bag and you can obviously see that there are less circles on this bag because the bag is smaller and then that's pretty much it you guys you just put all your little goodies in there and you use the matching tissue paper just to kind of keep it that monochromatic look and these just turned out super cute comment down below and let me know if you're gonna do a legos party um, and if you're gonna kind of use this dollar tree idea but really it was the gummy candy that kind of sparked this whole thing how fun would it be for a kid to get this bag and to have like gummy legos candy it's just 
Dollar Tree is amazing. So, and I've never sponsored. I wish, I truly do, but I truly just love this store. This is the end of the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.